Welcome back. You know, the buzz generated by our next duo from their first appearance on the show was pretty awesome. And why not? Barbara and Teal, the Whiskey Sisters, not only do they sound good, but they're really easy on the eyes, too, if you know what I mean. And I think you know what I mean, don't you? Every mile, been uphill, don't you bring this good girl down. I have mercy on me, if you will, don't you bring this good girl down. Well, the mother truckers were kind of on hiatus, I suppose, and and Teal was thinking about doing something else, and I had just come in from touring solo out of the country for a long time, and wasn't sure what I wanted to do next, and a mutual friend, our friend Nick Randolph, said, you guys should try singing together. So we got a couple of songs together, went home and learned them on our own, and then came, came together and sang them, and by the time we got the first chorus, and I say this every time, it was just like magic, it was done. We knew we wanted to try and do this, and move forward, and we did full steam ahead. I can't please them all, what would be the point? Don't you bring this good girl down? Well, you told me of your great expectations. It was a self-produced album for sure. Um, Josh, our guitar player, Josh Z, he was, I feel like, behind a lot of production choices in the album. And so that was really helpful because there are certain things like Barbara and I might not go, oh, the kick is a little bright. You know, that just might not be the first thing that we think about, but somebody who's done, produced a bunch of albums kind of thinks about it like that, so. Um, it's true, he added a lot, a lot of detail, and he's very detail-oriented, so it was very helpful to have him in the studio. And that between the three of us, we kind of produced it ourselves. I don't believe in loneliness. Don't let it run me through till I've done. You know, you wouldn't be able to tell by the quality of the sound or, or even the difference in the songs that it was recorded in different places. You know, we brought what we bring to each place. And each person in the studio, each engineer, you know, they added their thing too. And I think it, I think it turned out well. Well, we did, we did like a little a little vote on Facebook before we came and said to our fans, what songs should we do today? One of them was Let's Drink, oh, let's that drink. people said. That's a very somber song. <laughs> <laughs> it's really a downer. Like, no, well, I mean, we're called the Whiskey Sisters, you know? So yeah, Let's Drink was one of those songs that I wrote that came out just like that, which you know, if you're a writer, you know that doesn't always happen. It almost never happens. And I don't know, it was just, it, 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 I could I could write Let's Drink all day. It could be a, like a year-long song because of all the things you could add into it that everyone can relate to when they've been drinking. Well, um, people also said the whiskey song, which is a <laughs> song that's kind of like a, a fun, you know, sort of sometimes we close out the set with it because it's, you know, just a, a rousing, super rock and roll. She's a little bit country. I'm a little <laughs> bit rock and roll. Um, and it's just... Uh, I kind of, when I was imagining that song being played, I was seeing it at the Continental Club because I was just feeling, and I even say in a lyric, meet me at the Continental. That's the music going experience right there. My other band, we would played there and done Thursday happy hour for couple years um, and so when we got the Whiskey Sisters together uh, I just approached the Continental and said I would love to do a residency there and we had to kind of earn our move up to a Thursday from a Monday but um, it's been so much fun and it's like just a, such a great crowd every week such a diverse um, ages and everybody's just fits together great and has a wonderful time. And always new people coming in there too, which is really awesome. It's and been kind of our briar patch. DJs pick up what they like and play it. We don't tell them what to play, but they just, if they grab onto some track. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's they're, they're playing a fair bit of the whole album. So. A lot of the songs, and they're kind of diverse. They somehow work together, but they're diverse songs too. And, and somehow a lot of them seem to be, I don't know, they're taking to a, a number of the songs on the radio, which is great. And we ain't got 